What is the best way to record online course videos? Should it be you talking to the camera like a talking head video or should it be like a slide presentation with your audio as narration? There is a third much better way to record your online course content. And that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. Hey, Go-Getter, if you're new here, I'm Salma Jafri, and I help you grow your online visibility, credibility, and profitability with YouTube. If that's what you want to do, hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon. Okay, so let's talk about the third way, which is actually the way that I create online video content, which is a mix of all three. So there is a talking head component to this. There is a slide presentation component to this, but there's also a third component called screen casting or screen recording. So let me show you what I mean. Let's do a sample video course recording. Okay, so I'm going to use Camtasia to record a sample course module and I'll walk you through. So the first thing I like to do in my online course modules is record my talking head video. The reason I like to do that is because I want people to see who the course creator is and establish a connection with my audience. So I like to do introductions in talking head form and I also like to do anything that uh, is expressive and builds connection in a talking head form. So those are the two things that I want to have my face on screen when I'm creating online course content. Then I switch over to using slides for four different types of things. So if I want to share the lesson outline, I will put that on a slide because it's just easier for people to read and retain that information. The second kind of content I'll put on a slide is important information. Now that's important and I want people to retain that sentence so I will put it up as a slide presentation to kind of drive that point home. The third thing I like to put on a slide are recaps at the end of a lesson. So what did we learn? Let's recap. It's a simple bullet point list of what was that lesson all about. So the outline came in the beginning and then the recap kind of comes at the end to reinforce concepts. And the fourth kind of content that I like to put on a slide is next steps. What should you do next? Where should you go next? What should you click? What should you download? So these are all the kinds of slide share presentations that I would make inside Camtasia. And the best part is that Camtasia has an add in with PowerPoint if you are on a Windows device. So you can literally record your PowerPoint presentation and edit it in Camtasia. If you're on a Mac, you can import slides into Camtasia and then add interactivity. In fact, one of my favorite ways to make my slides come alive is to import them in Camtasia and then add hot links to make links clickable inside my course modules. All right, the next thing I want, which is the meat of my online course content is screencasting or screen recording. Because a lot of educational videos require you to show your audience how to do something. So screen recording is super, super um, easy for them to follow, for your audience to follow, and it's really easy for you to make as well. You just need to think about what you want to show, and then it's much easier to record that than creating elaborate slides to pr to present that same information actually. So in Camtasia, I like to record my entire screen and then I can edit out whatever information I don't need. And I can also edit in effects and animations and titles and text. So let me show you the four ways I use to record my screen. So the first way is if I am showing some actionable info. So let's say type this, go here, go to that page, zoom into this, look at this, read this, do this. All of that are actionable steps. So I will do screen recordings of all of those steps inside Camtasia. The second thing that I would want to do is I would want to highlight easy to follow steps. So click here, show an arrow next to this. This is the next step. You know, so in order to show people exactly how to do step by step uh, information or follow step-by-step -step sequences, I will use Camtasia to add those annotations and animations to make it easy for them to know how to do step-by-step -step activities. The third way that I would screencast is to do demos. So I could do a demo of uh, setting up a YouTube channel or creating a thumbnail. So I will do that demo 
in Camtasia and help people follow along on their own so that then they can create awesome thumbnails or whatever that activity is. And the fourth way that I would do screen recordings is real life examples. So I would add in what my, for example, a real life example from my YouTube channel stats. Oh, look, here's the, the audience retention for this video, or here are the peaks, or this is when people are watching. You know, so I would screen record that real life thing from my experience and share that with my audience. So doing all of these things via screen recording, just make your videos so much more interesting to watch and they keep the viewer engaged in your online course. I would love to know is creating an online course on your wish list, And if so, what is holding you back? Let me know in the comments below. If you would like to use Camtasia to record your online course, start with their free trial. And then if you want to upgrade, use my link in the description below to get a 10% discount.